What does that say about how seriously Ontario is, is taking the needs of First Nations people? Carl Dockstader from the Niagara Regional Native Centre is disappointed with the province, especially because he says there are more First Nations people who live in Ontario than other provinces. I think that really making the time that this holiday deserves would encourage people to, to shift their attention to, to this national tragedy. But when you have to work, you're, you're not able to really truly properly acknowledge that. Audrey Davis from the Hamilton Regional Indian Centre says there's a lot of work to do in terms of reconciliation, and it's important that Canadians have that day. It's important that, you know, all Canadians become aware of why there's a need for reconciliation. Um, um, because without that awareness, the racism, discrimination, stereotyping, and uh, challenges that Indigenous people face on a daily basis just to be, you know, try to have some success in life won't happen. In June, the federal government declared September 30th the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation, a holiday that recognizes Indigenous Canadians and the suffering the community endured in the residential school system. <laughs> This came after growing calls sparked by the discovery of hundreds of unmarked graves at a former residential school in Kamloops, B.C. The new holiday replaces Orange Shirt Day as a statutory holiday for all federal employees. So far, British Columbia, Manitoba, Nova Scotia and the Northwest Territories have announced that they are recognizing it as a statutory holiday. But Ontario has announced that it won't be a provincial public holiday. The Ministry of Indigenous Affairs issued a statement saying the province is working with Indigenous partners, survivors and affected families to ensure the respectful commemoration of this day within the province, similar to Remembrance Day, which is also just a federally recognized holiday. When CHCH News asked Ontario's regional chief, Glenn Hare, he would only say this and wouldn't elaborate. The province is taking their stand and that's their stand there. But Doc Stater and Davis say making it a holiday is a simple symbolic gesture. The province refusing to do that is disappointing. Both groups say people can still do their part towards reconciliation by learning about the residential school system and educating others, even at work.